kwambira ngo rega mw'ibyaha byaratunaniye byaha byarakunaniye usambana byarakunaniye muzanyumva kenshi nkubita icyo busambanye uko ni nacyo cyaha cyoroshye kugikontrol ni cyaha gisaba kugitegura ni cyaha gisaba kwihisha ni cyaha gisaba kuyamura imyenda izo ntambwe zose ujya ni cyaha gisaba kwemeza n'uwo muri busambane mujye mu cyumba mu kingurugi mwiyambura imyenda busambane and then you fornicate ubwo muri yezo etape zose imana muwa mwashyize hehe yewe ndambi wabagabo babashurashuze kandi baba mu rusengero bakitwa abakristo ariko nabagore se shashye uzaramutsa abagore bafate kubitugo ariko ntuzarenze hano now if iyo watangiye gukubita bene aha biba byabaye bad Uh, maybe you accustomed how Matayo is preaching because he's still energetic and young. So if I begin to imitate him, you can hear my bones cracking. But now when he grows older like me he will be like don't see the way I am weak I used to be stronger we are continuing with our series of the teachings based on the words that Paul authored to the Philippians when he said that for me to live is Christ I don't know if the anointing of yesterday may also be for today. But uh, let me call my interpreter to anoint her because the anointing for today is different from yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Tujye gukora muri mu wawe dufatanije mvuga mu Kinyarwanda uyu muja wavuga mu Cyongereza nongiye kumusabira imbaraga zo gutega matwi nongiye kumusabira imbaraga zo kubona amagambo akwiriye nongiye kumusabira imbaraga zo kumva na nuance niyo zaba ari ntoya zituma ubutumwa bugenda nkuko wifuza ko bugenda reka rero imbaraga zawe zibe hagati yacu kandi zagaraga hagati yacu ni literaniro nabandi barimo gukurikirira kure kugira ngo ubutumwa bwe kubwa amagambo nakamenyero ahubwo ubwo wikuhimbura abantu kugaragaza imbaraga zawe n'ubutware bwawe no gushyira hejuru izina rya Umwami Yesu kandi no guhesha ubwo kubwa umugisha mu izina rya Umwami wacu Yesu Kristo amen amen haleluya haleluya kubwange kubaho ni Kristo for me to live is Christ niyo tujye kwiga uyu munsi that is what we are going to study today ariko ishingiye ku ntego nkuru but basing on the theme which says I can do everything through Christ who strengthens me. Yesterday we looked about the topic of the power in weakness. There is something amazing in the Bible. Paul says that have the same attitude that I was in Jesus Christ. And if you see the mindset or the attitude was in Jesus Christ, it tells us that Jesus, 
though he was God likeness he did not consider to be equal with God something to be grasped but made himself nothing taking the very nature of a man and also of a servant when he was about to die he died the death on the cross so if you follow it seems like a person who was above and he descended, descended, descended and then went to hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, what amazes me because of our God. People might see you decreasing. Maybe they have pity on you. Sometimes they pray for you. But God will be like, but do you know where I'm taking them? Remember the story of Joseph? He would tell the siblings, but I feel I have a calling. I have a destination. I feel like I'll be your leader. And you? Your mother died when you're still young. And you were raised by your stepmother. Are you going to be our leader? But he was favored in the eyes of his father. And he also gave him a robe with different colors. And then the rest hated him more. Now, you are saying that you shall lead us. You are not the older. Now, people betrayed him a lot. Uh, they are the older brothers who thought that he is taking the position. You are saying that you shall be our leader. In other words, now you want to be successful more than us. We shall see. They sold him. And this is how God was. The first thought of killing him. And then God went behind. Instead of killing him. Now just be, uh, you sell him to get a benefit. Sell him. So, he, so to be taken in Egypt. Now you'll be saved of him. The one who brought the idea is one of the elder brothers. Let's sell him. We are going to get money. And now we are going to be saved of him. They did the same. They took him to Egypt. The one who would see him going. Uh, they, would, they would think that maybe he's really in, in bad conditions. Imagine he lost his mother at the young age and the siblings are hating him. They are selling him off even in a country that was not theirs. So when he came to Potiphar's house, he was bought. He did his work diligently. He got a promotion. Even he was favored again in the eyes of the mistress. So when he refused to sleep with the mistress, uh, he was imprisoned because of the case. Don't think it was something that was easy. Potiphar, because Potiphar, if we may put it in our days, say, uh, she was the chief commander he, he, he of the presidential. He. Now, play with the soldiers, but there are soldiers that you cannot dare play with. Now, I really like the presidential guards. They will not harm you, but if you begin to tamper with them, they will correct you nicely. Now imagine a scenario that he tried to, to rape 
the wife of the chief commander of the guards. And then he, he gave him, he handed him over to the escorts to do what was needed. I believe Joseph went to the jail when he was really corrected. If I go to heaven, I'll ask him how it was. We have stories that we shall be telling one another. They took him to jail. What people did not know is that the way to the jail it was the same path to the seat of the prime minister. And the way it was to Jesus the day he was hung, probably the devil celebrated. But when you read carefully in Isaiah 53, uh, he said that on the cross, on that tree, that is where your kingdom shall be finished. Hallelujah. That is when, when they had crucified Satan him. Uh, the devil remember that. Now, now tell him to get off the cross. Uh, people began to say, like, if you're son of God, please descend and we see. It was like, no. It is finished. I am done with the battle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He went to the hell. A farthest place. But when he came out, he came out with another power. And he went on the right side of Hallelujah. the Father. Hallelujah. That is when I like when a person is filled with the Spirit. I had a challenge. Uh, it was a very big burden. And then a person told the, told the other. Now, Antoine used to, be, used to boost. But now, right now, the things that are happening, now, he's going to remain as if it's a pumpkin thrown on the floor. A person came and told me, so, what is the issue between you and so and so? I was like, they are my friends. I was like, no. Ask them if they did not say that you are going to you are going to be as flat as a pumpkin thrown on the floor. And I said, you know, if you meet them again, tell them that Antoine said, when a person is filled with the Holy Spirit, when they throw them down, they come higher more than where they no, have been. No, because if you get a tennis ball, when you're standing here, and then you, you, when you get a tennis ball and then you, you push it down, it will go higher. When they tell us that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And Paul is saying that uh, uh, get to my step as I make a step to Jesus Christ. Bishop Yesterday Bishop said it and I also quoted it that in my weakness that's when I get power. But for you to understand is for you to first listen to these words to be in Christ. Paul authored to the Philippians I have to focus on Jesus. For me, I am focusing Jesus. I am in Jesus. And Jesus is in me. The power that rose Jesus from the dead operates in me. But have you ever sat when you're tired or else you're sick? You tell God, you know what, God? The same power that rose Jesus from the dead. Uh, is it still functional? Because that's what Paul told the I pray for you. 
Uh, Any time I pray, I thank God. Uh, I pray for you. Ngo kujira ngo imana yu mwami watu Yesu Kristo ariyo data watu kwe sewe chua hiru. For our Lord Jesus Christ of glory. Ngo kujira ngo iwahe umuka uge nje nugu hishu uliruwa. For him to give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Ngo muimenye. For you to know him. Ngo maso imiti mayanya wonu kwa hueza mumenye vjo mngiri njizgwani ya waha magaye. For your eyes to be enlightened and illuminated to know the calling. Mumenye nubutu nzibu ugiza ugibja zara gavera. And knowing the riches what he will give to the saints. Ngo mumenye nubu ginshi ugi imbara gazayu utajira kajiro. And also to know the power, his power. Izi hat kwe buge. That he giveth us that as according to his power. The one that he gave to Christ Jesus when he rose him from the dead and he made him to sit on the right side of the Father. Sometimes I sit and I pray to myself this prayer. It's one of my best prayers. To sit and tell God, give me the spirit of wisdom and revelation. Give me to know you. Give me to know what I hope in you for. Now, give me also to know the power that is exceedingly. The one that rose Jesus from the dead. Sometimes I talk to the Spirit. Now, today I want us to talk about so and so. You used to work with Moses. How did he used to do it? Now tell me how Moses used to pray. Now he spent 40 days at the mountain praying. What was he praying for? Whenever you begin to have the desire of knowing the power that rose Jesus from the dead. When you begin to know the power that was operating in our, our forefathers, you are on a right track. When you begin to ask God, explain to me. If Paul says that for him to leave his Christ, what did it mean? Hallelujah. 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 Let me tell you five things that we find in this verse. Because we are learning about this theme that I can do all things through Christ. How does he, give, how does he strengthen us? The first thing that uh, causes Jesus to give us strength, I talked about it yesterday. The first strength is derived in our identity. To get to know that I am a child of God. When I am walking, now the heavens are escorting me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you go in different countries, you find like the children of uh, presidents uh, going to different campuses. You will never see their escorts or their bodyguards. You might even confuse them to be also students at the campus. Uh, even the students at the campus might not differentiate if they are students or escorts. But they have a way they are protected. There is a way in which they are protected. You, you cannot dare going anywhere. Now our identity is our first strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our identity is our first strength. That is what also Jesus was speaking to Pilate. When he was saying that I can kill you or I can rescue you. And it was like In my identity as a child of God, you are, you are powerless. 
Haleluya. Haleluya. Erega umva umunsi aba Kristo bazumva identity yacu. The day the believers will understand our identity. Nibwo imbaraga zizaboneka. That is when we shall get the strength. Kuko imbaraga zo kugira confidence kugira ikizere muri wowe. Because the strength or the power of having self confidence ziva muri identity yawe will come out of your identity. When you get to know that you are a child of God, heaven is watching over me. You get to know that there is power that comes from that. But when Jesus began to teach, he began saying that repent because the kingdom of God is we preach this word in a wrong way. I am going in depth of it for me to understand it. Now, repentance is not quitting fornication. Neither to quit uh, theft. Nor gossiping. And the rest of the sins. Now, for, for uh, now, for repentance, it is to change your mindset. You change the way you, the attitude you see yourself, and then the way you see others. The way you see the attitude according to things, and also the attitude you have towards the living things. You see them as a child of God. Because when God created a human being, now have dominion and control everything in this world. This is what I discovered. People think that he said that have control on the trees and the rest of the living things. It begins with you personally. You control your body. Control and rule your mind. There are such thoughts that should not even cross in the mind of a child. Now, if it comes to your mind, immediately say, This is not from our home, it is for the rest. But because we were born when we are already seen in a sin, our heart is deceitful, that is what the Bible says. Our heart is like a big forest that has many animals. Now, if they get out, you, you begin to wonder if they were there. That is why Jesus began saying that repent. In other words, change your mindset. And you come to the kingdom of God. Because our identity is the first strength we have. We are not only called the sons and children. John said that behold, see the love that the Father loved us. That made us to be called the sons of God. We are not only called the sons of God. And says that so it is. So if we are the sons and daughters of God. We got this in Christ Jesus. We are called to have the same attitude the mindset. We are called to live like children of God. Sometimes people tell me that, you know what, we have failed because of sins. You have failed really because of sins. You have failed totally because of fornication. Now, you, you shall listen to me several speaking about fornication because it is the sin that is controllable. You have to plan about it. Uh, it is a sin that needs you to hide. It, you need to unclothe yourself. Uh, it is also needs you to convince the one you are going to sleep with. Now, if I am driving on the way, I might have a car accident. I don't plan it. 
you are going to fornicate, you will think about it. You will need to tell the person you are going to fornicate. You will also need to convince them. You prepare a place where to do it. You have an appointment to reach the place. You go in a room, you close the door. You unclothe yourselves. And then you fornicate. Now, so I want to ask you, where is God in all these steps? Identity. Our identity. Identity. Our identity. Uh, there are places that it restricts us to go, and also it restricts us so to align with. So here to Vugango. When we say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That is the first thing. When Paul says that for me to live is Christ, it is to live with the purpose. The first purpose of our life, it is just be. Uh, to be the children of God. Uh, in an organization I used to work in called IAA, we used to have interns, American interns. So when you meet uh, the Americans, when they are coming in a such way, they will ask you the first question, what shall we do tomorrow? I will be like tomorrow, uh, they have just landed. And I'll be like, tomorrow, Ezio? Tomorrow? Ezio? You are not going to do anything. You are going to be. Muzawa. And they will say, to be? And you can't say, to be. To be what? Kubichi. Just to be. Kuba gusa. Kuko, awa anuwa mge ni waru mvayu ko ichuricho. Because some people have not understood that what, who you are gives the power of what you are going to do. Uh, you cannot tell me that you do not understand. The first purpose of God it is to be his children. That only. The first purpose I don't need your, need, your deeds. I only, I only get pleased because you are my children. Only that. I don't need your offerings because what is on the earth and heaven is mine. Even what you tell people that when you are worshipping and praising God is really happy. Sometimes may laugh at you. And then he tells you that I have millions of angels who praise and worship me day and night. But what pleases me is to see here on the world to see that I have children who walk like my children who accept and acknowledge that I'm their father and they behave as my children because they are in Christ Jesus. For Christ Jesus. Because of Christ Jesus. Just that. Uh, there are some words I like Paul authored in Romans. Chapter 8, verses 29. Let's begin with verses 28 for you to understand. Shall I read? Yes. And we know that in all things God works for the good and those who love him who have been called according to his purpose. We were called according to his purpose. For, for those God for knew, he also predestined it to be conformed to the likeness of his son that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. Now, he said that let me redeem them, let me redeem them for my son to be a, a, a big brother to many. Okay. Uh, let me stop from here, but maybe I'll come back on it. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. 
for me to live is Christ. So, kubwange kubaho ni Kristo nukuvuga ngo kubwange kubwo ndiwe nuko Kristo yangize wo ndiwe. Now, it means for me to be who I am, it is because Christ made me the person I am. Ichakaviri. Second, buriya imbaraga zacu. Our strength intego y'ubuzima bwacu. The purpose of our life. Ivo mukwa ducometse muri Kristo. Uh, it comes from us being connected to Christ. Iyo power of ngo kubwange kubaho ni Kristo. When Paul said that for me to live is Christ. Hari gihe ubona ibibabi by'igiti. Sometimes you see the leaves of a tree. Cyangwa ukabona ishami ryacyo. Or else you see a branch. Shora kukubwira ngo impamvu ndiho. Ah then I tell you the reason as why I live. Nuko ndi mu giti. I am connected in the stem. Kubwange kubaho ni Kristo. For me to live is Imbaraga zose zanje. All my strength, all the beauty, they come from Christ. When, I was, when, the, when the believers at our church were doing a farewell to me, they really spoke good words. And I said, let me tell you, brethren, if it wasn't Jesus, a different story. You'll be speaking about a different story. You'll be speaking of a different story of what you're saying today. Do you see Bishop who is seated here? If it wasn't Jesus, now the stories he would be having, they would be different from what he was today. All of us, if it wasn't Jesus, we wouldn't be here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Paul was like, for me to live is Christ. Because I can only manage the purpose of my life when I am in Christ. Now, the first purpose is to dwell in Christ Jesus. I want you to understand this clearly. We have made it so familiar to the believers to think according to what they do instead of thinking according to who they are. Paul said that I, for me to live, for me to live is Christ. And then he told the Galatians, whatever I do in this flesh, I live, but it's not me who lives. But Christ lives in me. Whatever I do when I'm still in this flesh, I do it because of the Son of the Living God who loved me and saved me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever I do, I do it because of what Jesus did to me. Long time ago when I got born again, I used to sit and think about these words. So, is it possible that God would love me? And God calls me and accept to be saved. What really, which condition did you do? Severally, I repeat it here or in other places I go to preach. There are also some other people of faith who thought about this. Uh, Yeah, 
when you, begin, when you begin to think in depth and you remember what Jesus did to you, the strength comes in you to serve him. When Paul says that for me to live is Christ, I serve because Christ redeemed me to serve. By the way, we do not serve for us to get heaven. Now that is what is Heaven comes in the package of salvation. The day I'm saved, I become a child of God. And the heaven becomes my home. I don't work for heaven. I'm a citizen of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you understand this, when I'm a citizen of heaven, you begin saying that I walk on the earth as a citizen of heaven. Some things that I cannot dare do because I'm a citizen of heaven. There are things that I cannot engage in. Things that I cannot talk because I'm a citizen of heaven. Things that I cannot think I'm a citizen of heaven. There are places you never find me in because I'm a citizen of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, how I pray you may understand this. When you're connected in Christ, there is a day Christ told people, if a person believes in me, if a person believes in me, if a person believes in me, and connects in me, the rivers of life will flow will flow out of their belly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now some people will be like, I think things to leave his Christ. Some things that are boiling in me because the rivers of life are flowing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you understand this, your life will change. Now, whenever I hear people say that they have failed because of sins, I wonder how do they fail when they are connected in Christ. Sometimes maybe you are not really connected. Sometime back home, where we grew up from uh, mobile houses. Uh, now it was back in 72 or 73 we used to be to live in mobile houses. Now the 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 houses you burn only the trees and then you surround them with some harsh when you don't have grass in that place, of course, you shift you, you, you shift it because it's mobile. You go in a place where there is grass. I used to wonder how they could not be burnt. But there's something we used to fear when we are young. Because sometimes we would sleep. When you stretch your legs, and then the legs go a bit outside. Uh, sometimes you find that you are almost outside the house. Sometimes you would put baskets, uh, baskets so that uh, the, 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 the bears would not uh, eat. Some believers go in Christ and they <laughs> leave their hands outside. <laughs> So Christ is really touching. Now, how do you touch? You try to find when, or for the rest when you are in Christ Jesus. Why are you touching about some people's wives yet your hands are in Christ Jesus? 
and I'm not even uh, humiliating some people. Uh, in this country, we went for a conference. We were uh, several preachers coming from up country, but also others coming from different countries. Now, Rwandan women, there is a way you are so beautiful. Now, one of the men who had come from the neighboring countries were really taken off. Now, if you are going to be bad, you are going to be now, please, like, this is a piece of advice. When you're greeting women, touch on their shoulders, but don't go the way bottom. So for him, he was touching the other <laughs> way around. So some of these ushers were like, you know what? You should tell him the we, what we he's don't, doing. We, we don't like that, those things. So we told him. And we were like, but how do you exaggerate? And so for me, I am somehow rebellious. I told him when you are born again, get born again with your hands. Now, the, even the way you brush your mouth, also the tongue should be saved. Because we are in Christ. We want to look like Christ. We want to be like Christ. And we speak like him. And then we also manifest. We grow when we are in Christ. Even when God is watching us, he watches us through Christ. But every day we transform form and we be like Jesus. These habits that you are looking for explanations, they have to go. The gossip that is not aligned with godly things, leave them. The hands and fingers that are pickpocketing and touching, please leave that. If you are in Christ Jesus, and girls, ladies, if you see such men, you just boldly tell them that probably boldly tell them that you're saved by the fingers you left them the if they begin to speak weird things say those words are not in the kingdom of God I am fed up with men who are lustful yet they are in churches and they call themselves to be believers but even we, women, you are not also that strong. Whoever who knows that they are in such habits, please quit. In this journey that we are on, Jesus is all. That is why Paul was saying that I can do all things. Because the strength that comes out of me, they come from Jesus. And then three words Jesus said and we get to a conclusion. I am the vineyard and you are the branches. Which means that we feed from him. But John authored it in his first chapter. But what is filled in him are you what is in him he gave us according to that it is grace upon grace what is in him it is what overflows. what is filled in him it is what makes us operate what is filled in him is what operates in us so it is Jesus and he overflows in us. He overflows and then he will also give it out. Hallelujah. And, then, and when people ask you, but why don't you get discouraged? You tell them, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Yes. Yes. I'm telling this uh, to people in my retirement. 
I got retired, but I have not rested yet. So every day I'm preaching and I'm like, but is this the way they retire? But I only know one thing. As so long as I'm connected to Christ, what is filled in him, he will give me and I will give it to people. I want to see the end. What I am sure of, I'll come from glory to glory. I told the people that I used to read a Bible, the whole Bible in one year. But now in my retirement age, I have made a target of four times. Which means that sometimes I'll be teaching and then you'll be like, but this old man, does he sleep in the Bible? Yes. And I'm only seeking Jesus for me to know him better. For me to speak him better. Not only to try I to hear him. I say the I am the vineyard. What is filled in me is what I pour out in you. I like those. I am the bread and the living waters. Feed on me. I've been speaking with the Holy Spirit. And I'm like, how can you live Feeding on Jesus. Uh, how can you live without feeding on Jesus? Mugati. You eat the bread. How can he be the bread and the living word? Of course, I understand for him to be the way and the, the truth and the way of life. Now, let me elaborate it and I conclude. The Bible says in Christ, we receive to be the children of God. And then you say, yes, I understood us. It doesn't stop from there. In Christ Jesus, that is where there is a source of our power. In Jesus Christ, he is the living water. In Christ Jesus, he is the light that leads us. In Christ Jesus, he is the truth and the way. And in Christ Jesus, he is the purpose of our destination. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is what I'm concluding with. This is what gives us the strength to finish the race. I used to be an athletist. Now in athletism, running fast is not essential. Now what is more essential is to break the chain. You can break the chain. Because there is a limit. Now, our coach used to tell us that whenever you begin the race as you are running, even if you are in hundreds of people, get to know that those who encourage you, that those who discourage you, but put in mind that there is also the last point that needs you to break it. The one who authored the, 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 the episode of Hebrews, he said that there are those who began the journey and they finished their destination. They are only seated in the stadium. I understand this because at times we would finish you, you go and sit in the you and, sit. and then you see your team when it's still running. Now it would be stressful when you are when you are running in front of when you would finish the turn and then you give it, you pass it together and then you go and stand on the side you see another one running and the other one runs and the other one runs the fourth finishes. now you all standing wait, seeing how they are running if it would go at the fourth, that's when they would put the rope. Now, for them to know who told the, the, the rope at first, two things I learned from that. 
Most of the time I would come at last. Chambere disappointment yambere twigeze kugira. The first disappointment we had. Umukinnyi wacu umwe ararwaye. One of our our one of our team members was sick. Dushiramo replacement utarumenyereye. We had to replace him with the person who was not used. Speed yabagari nini? So we ha- we used to go on a high pace. Now he was running and then when he reached at the 300. Now the first two had really put their effort and had given a good distance. And then the other one began to slow down. Now, when he reached, when he was almost at the flat, he 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 went went and 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 now, I was really anxious that we are going to defeat Burundians, but from that moment, we are out of the game. I cannot forget that scenario after so many years. I really imagine Paul, Peter, John Wesley, John Wesley, uh, Billy Graham, uh, men like Bonke, like Bonke. Now the generation have left, I believe they are going to bring uh, the, the, the reward, the crown. And then they see like even a person like uh, the Dr. Cannon and then they are lying there. So it gives me the courage to finish my race after the destination. But what is more beyond everything? It is the story of Stephen. We know that Jesus is the beginning and the end. The way, the time they were stoning him, they were stoning Stephen. He was like, bear with me shortly, I want to tell you something. I see heavens opening. I see the Son of God rising. I'm, I'm seeing him seated on the right side of the Father. But he was standing, Stephen was standing. Do you know what he was doing? He was on the door to wait for Stephen. I think I imagine Jesus standing on the door side. And then see Stephen coming. And then hands him the scripture. And be like, Stephen, congratulations. We saw you running the race. We saw you speaking good of me. We saw you standing in the court. When people are looking at you, where they are gnashing their teeth. But for you, you looked like an angel. I saw you praying for them. And I was like, Yego. This one has, has been like me. I saw you when you were being stoned. You did not gnash your Congratulations. teeth. Congratulations. You come to the end. What may motivate you to have the strength to serve the Lord till the end? It is to think that the Lord will congratulate you. I usually tell Jesus when I finish my race also give me a treat I should find you standing on the door side and you you congratulate me. Now this one it makes me to be gracious and I get all things to think by Jesus and he gives me strength. I should not get discouraged to lie down. And I say, I will meet my king and he's waiting me at the roadside. And one of the good things at that place, there is no competition. What he inquires you of, what he requests you, what you are inquired of, is only to finish the race. Do not remain on the street. But sometimes because it is a long distance, some people get discouraged on the way and they be like the guy 
they lie in the pit. If you ask them what happened, and uh, you know this journey, it's really discouraging. But Jesus is waiting for us at the end of the journey. And he's at the end of the journey. The one who authored Hebrews. As we are surrounded by the clouds. Those who, who walked it and finished the race. Let's remove all everything that burdens us. Like, and even any sin that may wrinkle to us. And let's also rest where we are continuing. And we are focusing to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is the author of our faith. So he is the beginning. And the end. He is the author of our faith. And he is the one who will you put it in. That is why Paul said that for me to live is Christ. And also to die is gain. But so long as I'm here. I have to bear fruits. But if the time comes to go, I will go cheerfully. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That is why he authored to 2 Timothy. And he was like, Timothy, now a decision has been made. I'm like, what is powered on the altar? But I'm not, I'm not worried. I have finished my race. I have kept things of the faith. I have fought a good fight. And I know it ahead. There is a crown of faith in righteousness. The one our Lord King, a faithful judge, has kept for me. But it's not only me. And all these who will come later. Who have yearned of his Hallelujah. manifestation. Hallelujah. Are you listening this? Are you understanding the way I'm understanding? Can you be encouraged because of these words? And he said, Jesus. I will not betray you. I will not leave the way. I will not look the other way around. I know you are waiting for me. And if I come before you, I will not be put to shame. I will not be ashamed. And then, so long as I am still here, I will not dishonor you. I will, I will not ashamed you. I will not dishonor you. I will not dishonor you. I will not you. When I, when I was doing the farewell at our church, I told the believers, it's now 12 years when I've been leading you. For those who work together, building the houses, doing different things. Uh, if there's anyone who had me asking for corruption, uh, maybe among the people we are building, please come. Me. Now, the church has more than 1,000 women. And they are really beautiful. Any woman, any lady, I dare to tell them weird words come and accuse me here before the church you to know, ask for repentance. You know where you get that kind of confidence. Jesus is watching me. Yes, And he's not watching me to judge me. He's, he's watching me to make him proud. And then he stands there and says, yes. I'm waiting for you. Uh, and I have the crown in my hand. So keep going. Make me proud. Make me proud. And you finish well. And that is the call to every one of us. And he tells us, if you feel discouraged, call upon me. I'll give you strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We shall never be defeated. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. God bless you.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ejo, Tomorrow, we shall continue. We are going to learn three words that gives us strength. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of the Holy Spirit and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our Lord, we thank you, we celebrate you. When we think of what you did to us, when you think of who you made us to be, when we think of what you have desired for us, when we think of the strength you give us, Lord, it surpasses us. Be glorified. May your name be exalted. I pray for all the brethren we gather tonight. I always ask you this, Lord, that in my aging time, for you to give the spirit of understanding to everyone for them to understand the riches of what you need for them to know the power that you are waiting for us and also for them to know the goodness of the life you have prepared for us and this will broken them because the joy of the last time here cannot earth. be compared to the everlasting goodness we shall have in heaven. Help them to understand this. And in all the things, nothing can be greater to see in the face of our Lord Jesus Christ. May you reveal yourself to us. May you reveal and manifest yourself to us. Increase the power of the Holy Spirit for you to glorify our King. And wherever we go, may your people be blessed. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.